Space Colony Ark First introduced in Sonic Adventure 2, the Ark has been a source of mystery both in-game and out. What is it exactly? Who made it? And for what purpose? To answer the what, it was created as the world's first Bernal Sphere, which was originally mistranslated as Bernoulli in Sonic Adventure 2. A Bernal Sphere is a space habitat purpose for long-term living or even permanent residence. It was built well over 50 years ago. The government of the United Federation is whom it was constructed by. And to house the most brilliant minds to do research and experimentation was its purpose. Professor Gerald Robotnik was one of these brilliant minds. The government wanted him to help them unlock the secret to immortality, but he wanted nothing to do with it. However, when his granddaughter, Maria Robotnik, was born with the terminal disease NIDS, Neuroimmunodeficiency Syndrome, he accepted for her sake. He took his granddaughter aboard the Ark with him having the intention of curing her. Gerald planned to construct what he would call an ultimate life form, an experiment that would eventually lead to all humans becoming immortal. But the other scientists saw this as an absurdity and began calling it Project Shadow due to the mystery surrounding it and the impossibility of its completion. Professor Robotnik quite liked this name, so it became the official title of the program. Gerald first used lizards for his purposes due to their useful ability to regrow limbs. The firstborn of this was the bio-lizard. Weighing 87.5 tons, this monster is a force to reckon with. The creature was so dangerous, in fact, that it was sealed away at the colony's core. Despite that failure, Gerald's research continued. Additionally, in an old warehouse, Gerald discovered an ancient robot, which was one of a line of combat androids created approximately 4,000 years ago by the technophilic echidnas of the Nocturnus clan. He gave it the name Gizoid, the android was taken to the space colony arc to be examined, finding out that this was a super weapon with programming to kill. The professor tried to nullify this, but he was unsuccessful. In one last ditch effort to prevent what was almost inevitable, he gave the Gizwood something he would later give to his ultimate life form, the soul. This soul is essentially a free-willed emotions-based AI, or artificial intelligence. It gave the Gizwood a desire to do good. After some time, the scientists enlisted the help of a ruler of an alien race existing on the Black Comet, Black Doom. Black Doom, being immortal himself, provided genetic material that would allow completion of the project. However, Professor Gerald soon learned of Black Doom's plan to annihilate planet Earth. He therefore secretly constructed the Eclipse Cannon that was built into the Ark's superstructure for self-protection. The government at this time became wary of Gerald's research. They got it into their heads that his research was far too dangerous. So with both fear and impatience mounting, they threatened to shut Gerald down. However, the professor was so absorbed in his work and refused to cease, he was so close. In fact, he sent the Gizoi to them to buy time. G.U.N. without fail was sent in to shut the program down by force. By now though, the mysterious project had already been born in the form of Shadow the Hedgehog. What happens next has become something of a broken record, and not only that, there are so many variances of what exactly took place. But the basic idea of the occurrence is simply this. During the raid on the colony, Maria Robotnik and Project Shadow tried to escape, but they were cornered. A lone gunman shot poor Maria down, and with her dying breath, she sent Shadow by means of an escape pod down to the planet below. Finally, Gerald Robotnik himself was arrested and then executed. Shadow the Hedgehog was also found and put into a state of suspended animation, a dreamless, comatose sleep. 
The space colony arc and its captivating story were kept hidden for half a century. That is, until another scientist, greedy and lusting for power, decided to open Pandora's box. As in Sonic Adventure 2, Project Shadow was thus released by Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik, the grandson of Gerald Robotnik. Eggman planned to use the Eclipse Cannon to take over the planet. So with the help of Rouge the Bat, Shadow collected the Chaos Emeralds for him. When all emeralds were inserted into the machine, however, a recording of Gerald appeared on the screens throughout the arc. He explained that, as his last act of revenge for having his granddaughter killed, he reprogrammed the Eclipse Can to send the Emerald's energies to the Ark's engines and therefore propel it toward the Earth, decimating all life. Sonic and Knuckles, who were on the Ark at this time, rushed to the core of the colony, but were waylaid by the Bio-Lizard. Shadow had a change of heart after talking to Amy Rose, she convinced him that Maria wanted him to protect the Earth rather than destroy it. He thus joined in the fight against the Bio-Lizard. This gave Knuckles enough time to stop the Emeralds from giving power to the engines using the Master Emerald. However, the Bio-Lizard used Chaos Control to fuse with the Ark, becoming the final hazard. It pulled the Ark toward the planet. This is when Sonic and Shadow transformed into their super forms and Chaos controlled the colony into a safe orbit. Much later, as depicted in Shadow the Hedgehog, the video game, the Black Arms returned and tried to use the Ark to destroy the planet and capture the humans to use them as an energy source. Shadow, though, was able to reclaim the Ark, defeat Black Doom, and use the Eclipse Cannon as Gerald had intended it from the very start. He used it to destroy the Black Comet and the Black Arms race. There certainly is a lot more to that abandoned colony than meets the eye. It's not only a place of mystery, but for one who lived there, it is a place of pain, nostalgia, loss, and also a birthplace. Shadow the Hedgehog. He will be the subject of our May lecture, on which day we will answer the nagging question. Is he really the Project Shadow created by Gerald 50 years ago? Or is he just a lie, a copy made by Eggman? I shall now take this opportunity to answer any questions that were asked during the Twitter lecture. Alex the Wolf asks, How did Professor Gerald have time to reprogram the Ark to send the Chaos Emerald's energy to the Eclipse Cannon during the raid, or even his imprisonment? Or did he simply have the foresight to do so before GUN stormed the Ark? Well, the timeline is unfortunately not given. It says only that Professor Gerald went insane after his granddaughter was killed. He reprogrammed the Ark at this point and even altered Shadow's memories so that he would carry out his plans and put all the emeralds into the Eclipse Cannon, having it then plummet to the Earth. Miss Nightshade asks, About the disease, in what form did it affect Maria and where was it most damaging? Not much information is given about the disease or its location in the body. However, the Sonic News Network suggested that it is most likely an STD that Maria's mother had contracted and then given to her daughter during her pregnancy. Based on the name, we can infer that it affects the nervous system, while also weakening the immune system to the point of not being able to resist illness. In the Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comic series, Bun's Rabot, the Anti-Bunny, has nids in her spine. Dr. Ivo Kentabor created the Omega Care Unit that creates a stasis field which prevents her condition from progressing and supports her immune system. If you have a question that you did not see addressed in this lecture, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. Thank you all for attending this lecture. To test your knowledge about the ARC, 
Take the quiz that is included in the description of this video. I'll see you all next month. Class dismissed.